it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I'm here in Shanghai, and I have our opening session speaker with me, Steve Saxon, and partner with McKinsey. Welcome, Steve. Thank you, Leslie. It's great to be here. Good. Well, good to have you. So you you had a big topic this morning: um, trends in the globalization, the supply chain. Give us a little overview of what you talked about. Yeah. So. The exhibition's about break bulk, but we were trying to take a broader perspective than just break bulk itself and look at what's happening with global trade. So together with one of my colleagues, we were sharing some recent work from the McKinsey Global Institute looking at how supply chains have developed. Um, and we've seen a very significant shift in supply chains. Um, the peak globalization happened like almost 10 years ago now, and since then, actually, the amount of trade uh, the amount of global output being traded has actually been on a downwards trend. Um, but what's much more interesting is within that, how is the trade shifting? As that was the focus of this morning. And so how is it shifting? What do people need to know now to adapt to what's actually going on? Yeah, so the key thing is it's becoming much more regional. Um, so yes, of course, long haul trade will still happen and that's important for the break bulk industry. But um, more flexibility is needed within regional supply chains. Um, more and more intangibles are being traded. So um, digital goods, intellectual property, services, and so on, which is obviously not great news for the shipping industry. Um, so more and more services are taking an important part of trade. Um, and, and I looked in particular at actually the impact of technology. Because technology can be, a, it can be a win for trade, but it can also be a loss for trade. And Give so, us some examples, yeah. How, how can that be a win or a loss? And how can we make more wins? Yeah. So <laughs> the big wins is really around reducing cost, improving efficiency in trade, and reducing friction in supply chains. Uh, let, me, let me give some examples. Um, so modern technologies around autonomous vehicles, um, internet of things, um, smoother supply chains are actually going to reduce cost and it's going to reduce inefficiencies in terms of I don't know where my goods are, I don't know what's happening. Um, anything which reduces cost and improves efficiency is going to lead to more trade because it makes supply chains smoother and you need to hold less buffer stocks. Um, or another good example is um, um, friction within trade. Like customs is a big friction barrier at the moment. Um, and with customs comes also corruption at borders. Technologies such as blockchain can really help ensure um, consistency of the information, reliable information. So let's get rid of the paper. Let's get rid of kind of stamps and chops and customs officials and move that onto, onto digital. And that, again, is going to smooth trade because people just get more confident about moving things across borders. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And even though we're talking a lot probably about um, consumer goods, etc., it sounds to me, though, like this kind of applied technology would benefit the break bulk and project cargo industry as well. We yeah. hear about border customs problems all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Those trends do relate to consumer goods, but they absolutely also relate to the intermediate products and they relate to the manufacturing equipment um, across the supply chain as well. So I think it's all very relevant to the break bulk industry. Absolutely. And as you're talking about one of the trends in this sort of globalization, almost, mm, I don't know, being more domestic, turning inward a little bit. Yeah. What impact might that have on our industry? In other words, what steps could companies do now um, to leverage that? Yeah, so I think the impacts of the trends we see for break bulk shipping, um, much more regionalization. So you, having a, if anything, even slightly smaller, more flexible fleet is going to be very important. There's also a big shift towards Asia, continued big shift towards Asia. Um, as we're talking about regions growing, the region which is going to grow the fastest is for sure going to be this region. So it's going to be Asia and China. We're therefore likely to see control of the cargoes and also control of the ships and the shipping companies increasingly shifting here towards Asia. And I think China is going to play a very significant role in that. We, we, need, we also need to remember that break bulk shipping is, yes, we, we think most of it is international. But there's a significant domestic industry within China as well. Like break bulk shipping is also along the Yangtze River. Um, the intermediate supply chains within China are also very relevant for everybody here. 
Absolutely, and um, I think China now also is starting to manufacture some of its own big equipment for power plants, etc. Right, and some of which will be domestic, but also some of which will get exported, especially as we look at the Belt and Road Initiative, where China is bringing domestic manufacturers and domestic technology to Africa, to Southeast Asia, and so on. That needs to move somehow, and it's going to move on brake bulk ships, and frankly, it's going to move on Chinese brake bulk ships. Well, good news for our Chinese carriers here. Um, absolutely. Look, we see a very bright future for the Chinese brake bulk shippers. The, the center of gravity of the industry is definitely moving here. Excellent. All right. Well, Steve, thank you so much for sharing that information with us. Thank you very much. Thanks.